Hello, digital artists. There are a lot of places online to find 3D assets. Some are free, some are paid, but I've found that when it comes to quality, you generally get what you pay for. My favorite place to download 3D textures, which I use to build my asset library, is Polygon.com. It's the site founded by the Blender guru himself, Andrew Price. In this video, I'm going to cover what's available on the site, how much it actually costs, licensing, what I like about it, and a couple things I do not like about it. I create short, to-the-point videos for Blender users and other 3D artists, so hit the subscribe button if that's what you're interested in. I'm not paid by Polygon to make this video video, but I do have an affiliate account, so if you click on the link in the description and make a purchase, I get a small commission which goes a long way for the channel. Now let's get into the good stuff. What is Polygon.com? Polygon is a website that sells 3D texture maps, 3D models, HDRIs, and brushes. They also offer a lot of free assets too in each of these categories. I have used Polygon for over two years and it is my preferred place for high quality textures. They are growing their library of 3D models which are also high quality, but when I go to Polygon it's usually for the textures. So what kind of textures does Polygon have? Browse their library and you'll see they have a lot. There are textures for architecture, characters, decals, and all the things you'd need in most 3D scenes. I've used textures for rock, ground, concrete, tile, metal, nature, streets, fabric, bricks, and wood from Polygon because they're solid, affordable, and simple to use. On a lot of sites, you have to select which resolution and which maps you want to download. On Polygon, you get all the sizes and all of the available maps for each texture you choose to download, all for one price. Pricing is in credits, and I'll get to that in a minute. When you download a texture on Polygon, there are generally resolution options between 500 all the way up to 8K. You can choose to download just the ones you need now and come back later if you want another size. Or you can download all of them and build up your own material library. In either case, all the maps are yours to download anytime after you purchase them. Each texture has a variety of maps you can use. The color map is the basic image of the texture, but ambient occlusion, reflection, gloss, normal, bump, and displacement maps are what make the texture super realistic. For more advanced users, you can choose if you want to download maps for specular or metallic workflows. Like with size, if you choose not to download a certain map at purchase, you can always come back and get them for no additional cost. You own all of the assets you buy whether you download them or not. Texture maps from Polygon use a naming convention that makes them recognizable to plugins and 3D programs. So if you're a Blender user and use the Node Wrangler add-on, Blender will know which socket to plug which map into when you use the Control shift t shortcut. Pretty cool. Just don't change the file names once you download them or this might not work. One of my favorite categories of textures on Polygon is the surface imperfections. These are pretty low cost, but you can add them to any material to add scratches, stains, grunge, and a whole bunch of other imperfections, which really adds to realism in your scene. The textures download in a well-organized zip file. They can be used with any of the main 3D software program. Another great way to get materials using Polygon is buying one of their generators. A generator is a substance file that allows you to modify settings to make almost infinite variations of a material. Why buy 10 different wood textures when you could buy a generator that makes almost any type of wood texture you could want? There are currently 11 generators available which include wood, tile, upholstery, bricks, and more. Several 3D software programs allow the files to be edited directly in the program. Blender users will have to download the free Substance Player program to use the generator, but it's really easy easy. You can find a lot more than just material textures on Polygon. They have 3D models, most of which are for interior ArcViz scenes, but they recently added a big collection of rocks, which I found to be great. Although there are a lot of places to find free HDRIs like HDRI Haven, Polygon has a lot of good ones too. There is also a collection of alpha brushes. The site is well organized and you can filter by category, as well as show only free assets, assets you already own, or only the assets you don't own. So we've established that the Blender Guru's Polygon.com has a good selection of high quality 3D assets. Now what does it all cost? A quick note, all prices discussed in this video were current at the time the video was made. Polygon uses a credit system for their pricing. Every item on Polygon has a price that's listed in credit. For example, most textures will cost between 4 and 10 credits. 3D models generally run between 10 and 25 credits. So this begs the question, how much is a credit? Well, it depends on how you buy them. Polygon offers two ways of buying credits. You can buy them in a pack or with the more economical subscription service. There are three sizes of credit packs you can buy. You can buy 20 credits for $10, which at 50 cents per credit is the worst deal on the site. You can buy 50 credits for $20 and you can buy 125 credits for $30. Obviously, the larger the credit pack, the better the deal. This isn't bad and I've purchased my share of credit packs. All assets purchased with credit packs fall under the commercial use license and credit packs don't expire until 12 months after the purchase. But credit packs are very expensive compared to the subscription plans. Polygon offers three main subscription plans. 
On the hobby plan, you get 120 credits a month for $16 a month. But there is some fine print with this plan. The materials purchased with credits from the hobby plan can only be used for personal projects. These credits can roll over for one month, but then expire if not used. Remember I said there were some things I don't love about Polygon? We'll get to those in a minute, but this is one of them. On the freelance plan, you get a decent bulk discount. You get 300 credits for $24 a month. That's a much better value at only eight cents per credit. And you can use the assets you purchase with these credits for commercial projects. They roll over for three months instead of one. On the production plan, you get 600 credits a month for a $47 monthly subscription. When you break it down to a per credit price, this isn't much of a deal over the freelance plan. These credits can also purchase items for commercial use and still expire after a three-month rollover period. With every subscription plan, you can save 25% by making it an annual plan and paying for the 12 months up front. This might be worth it if you really want to build up the asset library. You can cancel a subscription at any time. Wow, that was a lot to cover just to explain the pricing. Now let's cover the licensing and my recommendation on which plan is the best. 3D assets purchased with either credit packs or a subscription other than the hobby plan can be used for commercial use. On the hobby plan, you're limited to personal use. There are common sense restrictions for commercial use that basically say you can't resell or redistribute the assets themselves. This is normal for all sites that sell assets. I was impressed that Polygon does allow you to sell models you create with Polygon textures embedded in the files. That's a plus and it's not the case with every site. To complicate things further, the free assets on the site can only be used for commercial purposes if you download them while you have credits from either a freelance or production subscription or credit packs. Honestly, this is my biggest knock on Polygon. I don't know how an artist is supposed to keep track of which credits bought which products at which time. I also can't see how Polygon can keep track of any of this to enforce it. My second knock is I have no idea why purchase credits should expire. They shouldn't. So, to minimize this complication while enjoying the benefits of Polygon, just follow this recommendation. Subscribe to the freelance plan, it's the best deal in my opinion, then download every free asset you think you'll want, and then make sure you use all of your credits within three months, and when you find you have all the assets you need, cancel your subscription. If after that you need to buy that one more texture you forgot to get, buy a credit pack. Just be sure to use those credits within 12 months. Polygon's a great site, and if you're on a monthly freelance plan, a standard high quality texture, which you will own forever that comes with all the maps and whatever resolution you want can be used commercially will only cost you 80 cents. That's pretty good. Polygon is regularly adding assets to their site and I've seen the content grow extensively over the last two years I've been using it. I do highly recommend Polygon. Remember, using a link in the description gives me a small commission at no cost to you if you decide to purchase through Polygon. I really hope this video helped, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I promise I will respond. Give the video a like if it was helpful, stay creative, and thanks for watching.